Hello. And hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited because I saw this YouTube title. It's pretty much the best title I've ever read. Ugly Tourists in Germany. How to Upset Germans. Being ugly. That's how you upset Germans. <laughs> this is highly offensive. I was offended just reading it. At the prospect of me being a tourist in Germany. And someone's going to get upset because they think I'm ugly. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, if someone's already ugly, they're already upset enough. You know what I mean? They don't need you being upset. What is this? Go check out Wa Walter's World. He makes awesome videos. Walter's World and today we're in Freiburg, Germany. And today we're gonna to talk about how you Freiburg. can upset Germans when you come here as a traveler. Because we wanna make sure we're ingratiating ourselves to locals and we don't wanna do the faux pas that might make right. our German friends a bit ergerlich, a little upset, okay? Because it's all about the respect, as Logan Paul once said. He said that in that famous video in the forest in Japan. <laughs> I always think of that quote because it's so dumb. It's all about the respect. It's dumb how he, he said that and then he did that. Anyway, I don't even know if you know what I'm talking about. And I think the first thing you need to realize, the first way you can upset a German is just being late. Germans are all about being punktlich, about being on time. Punktlich? If you have a meeting and- Oh my gosh, guys, I heard this was gonna happen. It actually happened. A national test here in America. National test on all cell phones. Just happened. Wow, I caught it live on air. There you go, folks. Apparently that just went off in all cell phones across America and Canada. Cool. Anyway, <laughs> don't be late. Yeah, that'll piss me off too. And it's at nine o'clock in the morning. That doesn't mean you show up at nine. That means you're in the office. You're in the room where the meeting's gonna happen at 8.55. So right at 9 a.m., the question- 8.55. Okay, hold on. That's not nine start going okay so always be on time and if you're going to be late let the people i mean come on if you're in the room sitting down at nine you're not late let's be reasonable here people know because um one they're they're not going to be appreciative that you're late but they will you're not late we want to know what's going on <laughs> now another thing that might upset your german i don't like people being late either in france if you get a little yiny okay which i like to say yine. is yine is yes and no ya and nine put together okay it's kind of like yeah yes and no put together yeah, no i'm not sure look germans do not like uncertainty they do not like risk they want to know what's going on they want the certainty of are you coming or not and if you're kind of flippy floppy if you're thinking about ghosting your german friends that stuff doesn't happen here oh god i've got some friends <laughs> they wouldn't make it in germany <laughs> um damn Okay, you need to be more be like, yes, I'm going to do it. No, I'm going to not. Because if you're not, that kind of upsets them. Because I feel like I'm the only person in the world. I've always thought this. Who, If I say, yeah, maybe I'll be there. There's actually like a 50% chance I'll be there. That's not a no. They want to make sure all their plans are set, okay? And I think one of the things that's important for you to know is since the Germans are very direct, they're not insulted if you're direct to them. So if you don't want to do something or you can't do something, don't try to figure out an excuse. Just let them know, hey, I can't come. That See, that's what Americans do when they say maybe. That means no for most Americans. If someone says, oh, you're going to be there? Maybe. You know, maybe I'll show up, you know. Um, they're not going to be there. And it's because they're trying to, like, let you down easy. This makes more sense. You just got to be be straight up. You're going to be there or not. And they'll be okay with that. But just telling them yes and then not showing up, the whole ghosting thing, not cool here in Germany. Okay, so have a heads up. Now, the third way you can upset Germans when you're here is Being if you ugly. assume that everybody in Germany is from Bavaria and wears Lederhosen. Oh, my God. Hold on. I need to appreciate this pretzel. It's beautiful. It is a thing of beauty. Handcrafted. Damn. Look, people were later hosting at Oktoberfest, and most of those are actually tourists. I'd be like, can I take a Where picture with you? No, not not, not because of your dress. Um, the pretzel. 
Man, I need you to hold to hold up that pretzel. Lederhosen. Look, people That's wear Lederhosen at Oktoberfest, and most of those are actually tourists, okay? Germany is a very diverse country. I mean, going to Munich and Bavaria is a very different experience than going to Hamburg or coming here to Freiburg or going to Berlin. You have such variety in this country that when they think that people are thinking they're all the same and they're all Bavarians with the big beer steins and stuff, that doesn't go over very well. And Bavarians are cool, though. If you actually know Germans, you'll know that if they're not from Bavaria, they like to make fun of the Bavarians. Now, another thing that tourists do that might upset the locals, and it definitely will upset a few omas, grandmas, and opas, grandpas along the way, is if you jaywalk. And when I talk about jaywalking, I'm not saying like the middle of the road. Really? I'm saying when you're at the crosswalk and then- Hold on, this is the opposite of what I- I thought in Europe, people use the road like car- like the people are first. And where you want to walk, you can walk and- Cars got to look out for you as opposed to here in America where everybody is like in a car and nobody's even thinking of pedestrians. Um, so this is weird. It'll, the little Amphimenchen, the, the, the street light. But Germans do like to stick like like stay by the rules, right? Like to keep things in order. So on that hand, it makes sense. Guy is there telling you don't walk and you go. I mean, I live in Germany for a number of years, and when I've done that, like people truly put their arm out and stop me, and they're like, "What are you doing?" Sein Vorbild für die Kinder. Oh man, okay, that would be something. Wow, don't do that here in America. <laughs> Just, I mean, you might find a, a someone crazy, and you got to remember the Second Amendment and stuff. You don't want to just be touching people. Be an example for the children. I'm like, there's no kids around. That you don't know in an unfriendly way. Around here, there's no cars. What's going on? No. Follow the rules. Otherwise, okay. they're going to be upset. And, and, and crossing the street against the light is one of those things. It's all about there's, the respect. It's even a saying. By Holt, musst du stehen. By Grün, darfst du gehen. Huh? Which is, by red, you have to stay. But by green, you're allowed to go. All right? So just know that. Young, old, male, okay. female, whatever. You just know the Germans are like, no, no, we're going to wait. So the pedestrian signs are green and red as well? Because here in America, they're not. That Those are just for cars. In America, the pedestrian signs are like orange and white. Until the light lets us go, okay? Another thing that might upset your German friends when you're here, and this is one thing that my students that have studied in Germany have Being brought up ugly. to me, and when I've had students that work with German exchange students, and, and that is, you might upset them if you don't agree with them on certain things, because Germans like to do a lot of research. Now, hold on. I thought, I thought you're supposed to be direct and say when you don't agree. They want to make sure they know as much as they can before they make decisions, so they feel that they have the best answer possible. And if you don't agree with them, they don't understand why you wouldn't because they've done all this research. I don't mind a fun debate, though. So that's where I've seen in business settings and group project settings where people have gotten some upset feelings from both the Germans and from the locals. So just have a heads up with that. But don't think the Germans are all stiff and, 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 and no fun. They will do parties. They will have a fun time with the party. And one thing I want to tell What does a party have to do with not agreeing with them? Tell you though is uh, you might upset people if you don't follow the party rules, okay? Because if your German friend of yours invites <laughs> you to a party, they're inviting you, not you. Party foul. And you're here in America. If you commit a party foul, you have to take a drink friend and your other friends. No, no. It's very much just you are invited. There's no plus one. If you want a plus oh. one, you need to ask them and they'll probably say no. Okay? Or not. No. <laughs> I just can't ima imagine someone doing that here in America. That's so funny. Uh, can I bring my wife? No. <laughs> She's not invited. Just you. Um, but just know that they're very specific when they do ask you to come to a party, okay? So so don't overdo it. Also, I learned that is that is very important to know. This when I lived here for a number of years is if you're going to be having a party, let's say you're staying here, you're going to school here, you're moving here, and you want to have a party and it's in your apartment building, you need to let your neighbors know that you're going to have that party. Oh, no. I mean, you don't have to invite them, but you need to let them know. I don't like interaction with other people. It's going to happen. Otherwise, they might be a little upset, which I learned uh, from a lady dumping a bucket of water into my apartment. So what? 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 <laughs> what? You didn't tell someone you were having a party. 
your neighbor who you, who's not invited, not involved in the party. And they got so mad, they they broke in and dumped water in your apartment. That's mind-blowing to me. Just have a heads up on that one. Now, another time you might see an upset German, and this isn't your fault at all, this is their fault, is if you're taking a train on a Friday or a Sunday when they're really, really busy, and yeah. you have a seat reservation, and you go to your seat reservation on the ICE, and somebody's sitting in that seat. And you tell them, uh, and sure they go, that's his mind, that's his mind. Like, excuse me, this- I hate this situation. It happens all the time here in America. Cause now in America, I don't know what it's like in Germany, but now here in America, most movie theaters have reserved seats. Did not used to be that way, but you choose your seat. Um, and when someone's sitting in it, it's just so annoying. Cause that doesn't fly. You have to ask them to move. This is mine. Oh, they're not gonna be happy because they got this seat and they're figuring no one's gonna show up in it. So they're gonna take it without a reservation. Don't be surprised if they ask you to show your reservation to prove it's your seat. And then they'll look at you like, oh, you took my seat. No lady, didn't take your seat. I spent the four euros to get the reservation. All right, so uh, do have a heads up for that. Now, sometimes you don't. What the heck? don't even realize you're upsetting people when you travel and that's okay and the germans have a fantastic way of letting you know that you messed up and that's when you hear hello when you hear someone say hello really <laughs> loud i would just assume it was a fan you know hello <laughs> oh, no. i mean if it's soft it's hello it's like hello but if it's hello it's like hello moron you're doing something wrong. Whether you went in the wrong door to museum or you're in the wrong bathroom or you're, you're doing something you're not supposed to or your kids are doing something stupid. Look, that hello will let you know that you upset somebody, all right? <laughs> so just have a- Oh man, I'd be so disappointed. Like hello and hello. You know, that's what I say at the beginning of every video. No. You are just being an idiot. Damn, I can just imagine. Heads up when you hear that, because you'd be like, what, what, what's something here? It's just a way they get your attention, all right? Now, another thing you might do that might hurt your German friend's feelings is insinuate that they're cheap. Now, Germans are cool if you say they're frugal, they're economical, no problem with that. But if you insinuate that they're cheap. Hold on, that's walking a really thin line. You can't call them cheap, but you can call them frugal. Cheap? That's when they're like, hey, I'm, I'm, we're not cheap. We, we, we've got money. I'm like, I know, I know. So it's like a fine line. It's like, you gotta, you gotta imply like you're frugal, like you're smart about your money. Not that you're just a cheap ass. No, <laughs> but the thing is, is if you okay. talk to, you know, in Canada and the US, you talk to waiters about tipping. They don't like German tourists because they don't tip as well. Now, they live some money, but they don't usually, usually leave. I don't think there's ever been a German tourist here in America. I, I mean, in Indiana. I meant to say Indiana. Obviously in America. Yes. But I don't think if you asked uh, <laughs> any of the restaurants around here, what do you think about German tourists? They'd be like, we, did, do we have one of those? Where I'd like to meet him. Is he in town? Leave the 50 to 20% like you're supposed to. They'll leave like 5% or $3 on a $100 bill. You know, so it is one of those things that if you insinuate like, dude, that's kind of that's how it should be. Tipping is absurd here in America. Cheap, you'll see them be upset. And I'm sure in the comments below, you, you'll see those things there. Or you might invite them over to a party. You're like, hey, you know, we're all bringing a potluck over. Bring some. I cannot wait to watch some videos on the Christmas markets coming up a couple months away. Um, yeah. Food and they might show up from, with some Maggi spaghetti instead of something else. So don't, don't, don't insinuate they're cheap. It won't go Maggi over well. Spaghetti. All right. Just say very economical. Choice. Whoa. I didn't know they sold pretzels like this. This is so cool. It looks so authentic. What, it, what, what's the deal with that? Why does this look so authentic compared to an American uh, like cart or food stand, street food here in America? It's because here in America, they, they'd, they'd have all these signs and advertisements and stuff. This is so like, I don't know, pleasant. It feels so real. 
choice, very frugal choice, smart business move. Oh my God, I want one of those pretzels. Okay, so have a heads up with that. Now, another thing that you'll learn very quickly is the way you're gonna upset your German friends is if you try to take their food or their drink. Cause you know in some countries- Hell yeah. Or hell no, 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 no. That's a good way to upset, I think, anyone around the world. When you order food, like everybody's food's kind of everybody else's and we can try this. Like we're in Italy, like, oh, try this, have some of this, have some of this polenta. Well, if you offer it, yeah. Portugal, it's like every plate is everybody's, right? Hmm. In Germany, it's not that way. That's my bratwurst. That is my spetzel. That is my beer. You don't get it. And so if you go and take some, especially without asking, it's gonna upset them. And even if you do ask, they say yes, just know in their mind, they're like, Ich wollte nein sagen. I wanted to say no, but they were very polite and said yes. So just know they don't they don't like sharing their stuff, okay? But it looks so good. Come on. You gotta share. You can't make food look that good and then not share. If you've gotten this far in the video, another thing you might notice that Germans might not like and that you might upset them with is if you point out any of the eccentricities of the Germans and German culture. So look in the comments below. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. Is he calling me out? <laughs> Making videos about Germans and their behavior. I'm sorry to anyone offended. Below, and you'll notice some comments of people like pointing out some things I'm messing up and how they're gonna be right about it, okay? Now, another way you might have set Germans when you come here is if you recycle wrong. I mean, I lived here a number of years and the recycle program here is- I prefer when you guys correct me. Is legit. The Grüne Punkt, it's like this little like arrow going I mean, I guess I'm not the one explaining about Germans. I'm just commentating on how it compares to America and stuff. So maybe that's different. Going around, it's called the Green Point. They have lots and lots of different kinds. Of it's on. like this little like arrow going around. It's called the Green Point. They have lots and lots of different kinds of recycling here. So it's not just paper and plastic. What the heck? It's paper. Pla oh, it's a race. Plastic. I'm a little slow. Glass, different kinds of glass, all kinds of stuff that's out there. They have that set up and people are very serious about it. So you wanna make sure you're putting the right- Wow, look at the beautiful containers for recycling. Stuff in the right recycle bin and the right- Look at that. It's also orderly. Right garbage going the right place. Okay, now this looks more like America, but it's still, you, you still wouldn't see something like this, but the graffiti, yes you would. Um. Uh, I'd be so confused. How do you have six different cans? Oh, this one's glass. That one also looks like glass to me. <laughs> paper, paper, paper. Okay, got it. Because they do a really good job with that and it really upsets people when you don't. And there's things economically that will get you to incentivize you to make sure recycling correctly because they have these things called a fund, a deposit like on beer glasses and, or sorry, yeah, right. beer glasses, but like beer bottles and soda bottles. And you can go sell your stuff at the grocery store, can't you? That's what I'd be doing. I'm not giving you my trash. That's worth money. I'm not just throwing it in some trash can. I'm gonna go to the grocery store and swap it out for a euro. I, I, I'm sure you don't get a euro for one bottle, but you know what I'm saying. Bottles and stuff like that, so you don't just throw it away. You take it back, get your money back so they can recycle it easier, okay? So be aware of that one. Now, my next one for you that might upset the Germans when you're here is if you drive in Germany, not like a German. Look. What about being ugly? Oh, is it the last one? Germans are very much, we're about our auto, our car, right? And so they've got the Autobahn when they're going yeah. way faster than you think you are. So move over because you staying in the left lane, that Indiana drivers, you can't do that here in Germany. Uh, why did I feel like Walter is just speaking directly to me in this video? So move over because you staying in the left lane, that Indiana drivers, you can't do that here in Germany. You got to stay to the right because people will pass you by. No matter how fast you think you're going, someone else is going to zoom past you in a Porsche, a BMW, or Mercedes. He's not wrong about Indiana drivers. He's not wrong. I'm the only one. I drive like a German over here, and it's annoying. Is that right? And the Germans do. It's annoying to be the only one get upset when people don't drive the German way when they're here. So I do recommend maybe take a class about driving or watch some videos on driving in Germany before you come because then you'll- What are those things spinning in the sky? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Renewable energy. Windmills. Got it. I know. 
I'm just kidding. Be better prepared and less likely to upset and get not imagine. necessarily road rage, but just upset Germans driving next to you. And also, uh, don't expect. I can't imagine something more dangerous than road rage on the autobahn. It's a really good cup holder for your your big gulp in a German car, and they don't understand why. Okay, so so leave that there. All Wait, right, for your just upset Germans driving next to you. And also, uh, don't expect a really good cup holder for your your big gulp in a German car, and they don't understand why. Okay, so so leave that there. You don't have good cup holders. All right. And then I want to finish off by another thing that really upsets Germans, and that is if you make Nazi jokes. I was hoping he, I, I thought he would say being ugly. <laughs> Whew. All right. You can be ugly in Germany. That was not, I don't, I don't, I guess he's saying ugly tourists in Germany, like he's using ugly in a different kind of way there. Like, um, ugly acting, which is not a normal way to speak English, but. Okay, the Nazi, the history of Germany and the Nazi National Socialist Party that was in power here for a number of years and World War yes. II and the Holocaust and everything is a horrible, it is a stain on the- That would be quite bold to go to Germany and make a joke like that. World history, not just German history, but the world's history. And if you make light of that, you make Nazi jokes, you make Hitler jokes and stuff like that, that does not go over well here. People do not like that. That is that is something that they're ashamed of themselves. And and you may think Although this does remind me. I'm thinking back, I'm thinking back. It was a video a long time ago. It it showed a book that that like made fun of Hitler. It was like a fame it was like a popular German book. It was like a parody. So in that sense, it seemed like they did like it. But I would definitely not, I would not do that. I think you're, oh, it's a fun joke. I'm poking fun at things. It's not. It is not something that you joke about when you are here, okay? Because that will upset the locals. And I just want you to know that, all right? So those are some ways that you might upset your German. F but that does obviously make sense. I mean, I know the, yeah. Like joking about it in like some people do tell those kind of jokes over here in America once in a while, especially when you're a kid. And um, those kind of jokes. I could see how Germans with how seriously they take it about like that kind of thing can never happen again. And it's very serious and all that, which is commendable. They don't want you making jokes about it friends when you're here in Germany, but what are some ways you've accidentally upset some of your German friends? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, I have another video on how Germans get upset when they travel to the U.S. <laughs> All right, well, Walter, what a video. That was so fun. I'm, I mean, I'm only disappointed because I thought he was going to say being ugly <laughs> was how you upset Germans. <laughs> but, um, nope. Good news for ugly people. Thank you for watching. That was a lot of fun. Subscribe for more German reactions. You know what it is. Every day. Well, every weekday. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.